What's up, Bigger Pockets? Alex here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Bigger Pockets Conference in Nashville, October 6th to 8th. You better be going to this thing, man. It's going to be super exciting. In this video, I'm going to tell you six tips to maximize your time there. I'm going to give you a discount code. At the end of this video, I'm going to make you watch the whole thing, but I am going to give you a discount code. I'm going to hopefully hype your pants off and I'm not going to waste your time. So let's get right to it. Tip number one, talk to people before you go and set up some friendships. This is simple, man. Go to the Bigger Pockets forums, find the numerous threads about the conference, reach out to people who have announced that they're going to go and say, hey, I'm traveling across the country just like you to go to the same place at the same time to talk about the same thing. Maybe, just maybe, we could be friends. If you're going alone, this tip really works because that way when you get there, you're super popular. I got 20 friends already, 10 friends, 50 friends. If you're going in a group, this is triple important because what you really don't want to do is take a group of people you already know, travel across the country to go talk to the same people. Dude, get there and you want to talk to new people. I guarantee you this will work. I guarantee it. I guarantee you this will work. If you're shy, reach out to me as a test run. I'm easy to talk to. Then reach out to make a list. Like 50 people would be ideal. Reach out to them so you have some connections so you can shake some hands when you walk in the place. Tip number two, have an elevator pitch ready. Dude, the first time I heard this advice, I listened to it, it sounded good, I ignored it because I was arrogant and I super, super regretted it. Don't be like me, be better. Here is what I 100% know is gonna happen. If you don't prepare for this thing, you're gonna be sitting in a group setting, it's gonna be, you know, the introductions are fast and they're, a whole bunch of people around, people are moving quick, and they're gonna ask you what you do, and if you don't have anything prepared, you're gonna try to explain something complex in 10 to 20 words, and you're gonna mess it up, and you're gonna feel silly. I dare you to come to this place without this thing ready, and you'll be standing in a circle, and somebody, you know, maybe mildly famous like Brandon or Mindy will walk by. God forbid somebody really famous like me walks by and says, what do you do, and who are you, and you're not prepared? Uh, I'm Alex. I think I like real estate. I don't know. Dude. Everybody here likes real estate. That is not an elevator pitch. You gotta prepare, man. My name's Alex. I buy single and multifamily real estate long distance in North Carolina. I'm looking for my next deal in Charlotte. I was the guest on episode uh, podcast episode 301 and I run brokersofchoice.com. Nice to meet you. Look, man, I'm not an expert and you don't have to be either. You just have to have something ready, 10 to 20 seconds so you can spit it out so that when somebody inevitably asks you, you have, you are prepared. Tip number three, tell the whole planet, tell the whole planet that you're gonna be there. Look, Hotshot, the point of this is a network, so you need to tell everybody that you're gonna be there so that they know to come looking for you. Use all your social media and content creation avenues to yell about this. I'm gonna start yelling for about a month in advance now. I'm telling everybody, why do you think I made this video? I made this video so that I can leverage the Bigger Pockets media machine into making me more famous. So you know that I'm there so that when we get there, we can shake hands. You have to be loud about this. Just like I told you to tell 50 people that you're gonna be there, you need to be loud enough so that 50 people reach out to you that know you're gonna be there. Your goal should be to talk to every warm body that's in attendance, including vendors. You never know what a relationship's gonna turn into. Don't even think you know. You don't know. And you don't know if it's gonna start from a small conversation or a big conversation. It's gonna be somebody you thought you might wanna talk to or somebody totally new that you never heard of. Tip number four, stay at the hotel at the conference. If you think that staying at the hotel that the conference is at is expensive, I'll tell you, by staying somewhere else on the street to save a few bucks, the, it's a, way more expensive to miss the opportunity. Way more. The best networking that you're ever gonna do in your life is impromptu. It's not planned. It's magic, baby, and you can't control magic. It's not the planned seminar that the real networking happens. It's the unplanned hallway walks at 6 a.m. while you're getting coffee and everybody's still sleeping. Look, man, the hotel at the conference is gonna be packed. The concentration of real estate investors is there. Maybe there'll be some at your hotel, maybe not. I know where I need to be to get the most amount out of my dollars though, and that's at the hotel that the conference is at. I've made this mistake before, like a lot of people stay somewhere else to save money. I've done it, and I'll tell you, it's 100% not worth it. Do not make the same mistake I made. I will never make that mistake again. Stay at the hotel that the conference is at. Tip number five, bring business cards. Business cards? Those old, outdated, expensive, cheesy things that you throw away as soon as you get them and they don't count for real, genuine uh, connections, 
Yeah, those things, you gotta have them. Why do you need them? Because first, business cards are like the way that society does social hierarchy battle in group settings. Like in the scene from American Psycho. New card. What do you think? Whoa, very nice. Look at that. Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Good coloring. That's bone. Second, because of like the elevator pitch, you're gonna be asked. You're gonna be asked for them and you wanna be able to hand them over. You don't wanna take a principled stand about how business cards are outdated and cheesy and they don't represent genuine connections. Dude, you're gonna have to make that rant 600 times. Instead, just give out 600 business cards. Give the people that are asking you for your information the information they want as fast and efficiently as humanly possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to have your stupid name and information on it. Tip number six, don't stress, man. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna make real friends and it's vacation. Relax, bro, get hyped and don't stress. Don't be so tightly wound about what you're supposed to do that you're not fun to be around. Be fun, be cool, breeze. Don't be so attached to their agenda either that you give up what seems like fun opportunities for you know library time if you see a bunch of people that you want to be friends with going off and going to the bar blow off everything else and go hang out with the people that you're supposed to be hanging out with it's a people game man don't stress it's about making friends that's it that's all my tips quick and dirty baby i hope that was useful and as i promised i was able to leverage my all powerful powers of the Bigger Pockets Moderator Forum, something to get you 200 bucks off the conference, and I hope you use it. If you haven't bought tickets already, use the, the code ALEX200 to save $200 on the tickets. Go through immediately and buy because they are 100% for sure gonna sell this thing out and you do not wanna miss this event. No matter what your real estate experience is, you have to be there. If you're part of this community, you 100, you have to be there. Do you know how anybody's saying no to this? They're crazy. Regret incoming if you don't sign up for this. If you do go, make sure you reach out to me in advance so we can shake hands when we get there. I love to hear your feedback on this video and I will see you in October.